In this video, I will share with you some very important points about laser. The word laser is nothing but a short form of light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. A laser device is a source of highly monochromatic and coherent beam of light having a very small angle of divergence. A laser device consists of mainly three components, active medium, pumping source and resonator. The pumping source supplies energy to the laser active medium for excitation of medium atoms and this energy may be optical in nature or electrical or chemical or thermal in different types of lasers. Now let us see how the action takes place in the main laser medium. The laser medium there are four steps number one pumping of atoms to higher energy state number two emission of photons of light by spontaneous de-excitation of atoms number three population inversion of atoms number four emission of photons of light by stimulated de-excitation of atoms. Now let us come to the function of resonator. In this component the intensity of light is amplified by multiple reflections of emitted light photons from two properly held mirrors. The space between two mirrors is called optical cavity and the distance between the mirrors is called length of the cavity. Next important point to be discussed here is mode locking of a laser device. Due to large number of modes of photon oscillations, the laser output may consist of a large number of irregular spikes as shown in upper graph. By mode locking of a resonator, we can obtain periodic and ultra short duration pulses of high power as shown in the second graph. Now let us see two different types of laser system. First of all we have three level laser system. In this type of lasers the atoms of laser medium are excited from ground state to higher energy state E2 by getting energy from external source of energy. The atoms can stay in state E2 for very small interval of time and spontaneously de-excite to some allowed energy state E1 that is called metastable state. These spontaneously emitted photons have no phase relationship among themselves and are generally absorbed inside the medium in the form of heat. Atoms in state E1 can stay there for comparatively larger time and so population inversion is said to take place in metastable state. After population inversion, a few photons of energy E1 minus E0 are made to strike the atom in state E1. As a result of this, all the atoms in state E1 are stimulated to de-excite to state E0 with the emission of very large number of photons having energy E1 minus E0. All these emitted photons are in phase with each other and are made to come out of laser device as its output. The efficiency of three level laser system is given by the formula E1 minus E0 divided by E2 minus E0. So this is all about three level laser system. Now let us come to four level laser system. In this system there are in total four energy levels in which atoms of laser medium can stay. E0 is ground state, E3 is highest energy level, E2 is metastable state and E1 is also metastable state. After following the same procedure as in three level laser system by stimulated de-excitation the atoms jump from level E2 to level E1 rather than to ground state E0 and the emission of photons of energy H nu 2 1 takes place by stimulated de-excitation of atoms from level E2 to level E1. After E1 the atoms spontaneously de-excite to ground state E0 and these emitted photons are of no use in case of laser. The efficiency of four level laser system is again given by E2 minus E1 divided by E3 minus E0. And it is to be noted here that four level laser system is less efficient in comparison to three level laser system. Thank you.